Okay, so here we have another example of a quadratic inequality, and uh, this time you can see it's just not factorized yet, but it's already in the standard form that we hope to have ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, that would be our first step. It would be greater or equal to zero in this case. So uh, the first step would be to factorize, because what we would like to do is simply to um, draw the parabola. So here the first step in factorizing this is just taking out a common factor. So always do that and in this case we can see why that was actually very helpful because we, the moment we do that we find that this simplifies to a much simpler trinomial to factorize. 75 is what is that? 15 X, uh, 5 divided into 75, 15. This is greater or equal to 0. So now what I like to do is I'll just cancel the 5 on both sides uh, by dividing it away. So x squared plus 8x plus 15 is greater or equal to 0. Now I factorize it into two lovely brackets, greater or equal to 0 x plus 5 and x plus 3 because three, 5 plus 3 is 8 but 5 times 3 is 15 both positive and uh, yes that's that's fairly okay now the reason why I did that was so that I can find my two roots the one would be at if I make this equal to 0 I would have x is equal to negative 5 and this one x is equal to negative 3 negative 5 is the smaller one so he comes first negative 3 is the larger one it doesn't matter how far you write them apart okay this is a positive parabola because the um, coefficient in front is positive so there's my parabola it doesn't really look like a good parabola but it doesn't have to it, it really just have to have, it has to have the right shape it can doesn't matter what it looks like really uh, the shape is simply there to help us to see which of our values where on the x-axis am I going to work am I going to work between the two roots or outside of the two roots that's what the sign tells me so I've got the roots now the sign tells me am I going to go beyond or between and we see we're working with greater than zero so here's greater than zero is the top half of my Cartesian plane that means I'm working with the out the, the legs pointing outwards which simply means I'm working with um, I'm not working between but um, beyond the two points they're not included sorry they are included so it's solid dots they are included and now I can just read it off here that X is smaller than negative 5 or x is larger than negative 3. I haven't done it yet but let me write this in interval notation. x is therefore an element so I'm going from negative infinity up to 5 not included negative infinity up to negative 5 I mean okay and now the or symbol is a u it's a unite uh, fat u if you're typing on a computer it would be capital U and greater than negative 3 means I'm going from negative 3 all the way up to neg uh, positive infinity positive infinity please ignore that so from negative 3 up to positive infinity there we go that is the solution in interval form and as you can see it's fairly simple thanks for watching